Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a Google Play Store-esque um, app. You don't need to sign in for this, there are up-to-date apps that you find in the Google Play Store um, and we're also going to see if some apps that aren't available on the Google Play Store are on this one instead. So it's called Aurora Store and let's get into it, how to install it. So for those who have never installed an app from anywhere other than the Google Play Store, your first thing you want to do is go to your settings. Make sure in this white one, not a uh, skinned out one uh, from boxes and whatnot, that you want to be in the main settings. Come down to the word security and under the word unknown sources you'll see this is either ticked or not make sure it's ticked um, what are you going to find if it hasn't been ticked let me show you you're going to get a little warning here that you may be vulnerable to tax from, from unknown sources um, as long as you know where the uh, app is coming from or if you download it and scan it with a virus scanner everything should be okay on them uh, any apps I see supply to you guys um, are all scanned for viruses and malware so you know that they are 100% okay uh, when we're doing this. Next we're just going to go to a web browser of some sort and I've uploaded this file for you to easily uh, download from Mediafire. Uh, so I've, instead of make, putting in the really long one, we're just going to use a service called tinyurl.com. You hit the forward slash and then type in Y3CQWV for Victor, B for Victor again, and the letter Y. Once you've done that, that will take you from the tiny URL to the media fire page. Here you will be able to download the file directly. So all you need to do is just touch here and your file should pop up down the bottom here. It'll say um, this type of file can harm your device. Again, I've scanned it, there's nothing wrong with the device with the app, so um, you can download it with no remorse. And with my slow connection, we'll see it's not a very big file. But once we finish downloading it, we will proceed to access the installation. Okay, so you can either open the file directly from here, but if you miss that, I am now going to show you how to navigate to the download file folder so that you can install it. So, go into your app drawer here, find all your apps that are on your device, and I use ES File Explorer. You can use the inbuilt file browser on your device, whether it's a phone, tablet, or an Android operating a device such as a TV or a box um, but you're going to do exactly the same spot no matter what so you're going to go to the root uh, internal storage then to the word downloads so for ES File Explorer you'll see under the word local go to the word download hit the wrong button there go to the word local go to the word download and you'll see Aurora APK. Hit that, the word install. Big white screen from the first little open symbol that came from your uh, web browser. This will pop up, so we're at the same, exactly the same stage now. Do the install of the Aurora store.
from here you can simply go to the word open. However, if you're a bit too quick and jump the gun and hit the word done, let's show you how to get to it for your first install. So we're going to exit out of ES File Explorer or your file manager or folder browser. Come to the word apps. Um, if you're on a touch device, it's probably, uh, I think, nine little square dots, uh, which will be your app drawer. And we simply just need to open up Aurora Store here. So this is the first setup, tells you your updates and things like that. Hit the word next. Come to the word ask and allow access. Google Play does exactly the same thing, so it needs to access your files. Next, hit the word ask again. Now, you can either sign in with your true Google Play um, store login details, but I wouldn't worry about it for this. This is a um, separate one. So I'm just going to go with anonymous. I don't use Google for anything that is Google, but uh, the reason for this is sometimes you're not going to be able to find apps for your device um, on the Google Play Store. Like it will say it's not um, compatible with your device. Uh, or it's been deleted. So I am going to give a demonstration of this. Um, I'm on an Android device, uh, a box for instance, and if I didn't have the most current Netflix, I can jump into the Netflix here, and you can see I can easily update it, whereas if I'm using the Google Play Store, let's go to Netflix on the Google Play Store, which you'll see that I am signed in to, and we'll put in Netflix. Here. So it, I can't get Netflix for my device. Um, there's just not one made for my particular box. Um, so the best part about having the Aurora store is I can get that. Now the other thing we're going to have a quick search for is Fortnite. Um, which I believe now is no longer on the Google Play Store. Um, now we're going to, just out of interest, come back out of here and put in Fortnite. And unfortunately, no, no, Fortnite is not on their store either, so must have been pulled. But the benefit of this is um, I have a lot of apps on my device. Uh, and as I said, Netflix is one of them which can't go through the Google Play Store. But if I go to the word updates here, these are all the apps that are on my device that need updating to the latest version. Um, they may not be available, uh, as I said, Netflix was not available. Um, Google Play services needs to be updated as well to the latest version. It's not doing that directly through Google Play for some reason. Uh, all these that I've downloaded are just not updated properly. So if I wanted to, I can get the latest app here and update it. Um, so huge benefit on that side of things. No signing in, uh, no credit card details or anything like that uh, required and you can download these files quite easily to update your apps that are on your device that may, longer, may no longer be supported uh, for your particular device or may have never been for instance. So, uh, that is my little uh, find for the day and uh, hope this app helps you update your device uh, to the latest version so that they work more stable. Um, yeah, there's just so many things. And again, here comes your installation screen, just like we've done in previous uh, apps, uh, whereas the Google Play Store will automatically do that. It doesn't need your uh, help to continue to do the installation. So that's the little differences between them, but uh, other than that, it just works. Um, 
and I find if I need to get something updated by somebody that uh, was installed a long time ago and hasn't been updated then this app store here will do it no hassles no help no needing to go through them and say hey you need to sign up to Google Play um, to be able to update those apps you can just come to this one here and um, just be anonymous and get your apps updated without you know giving the information to Google for instance so if you like this video please uh, give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel hit the little bell down the bottom so that you'll be informed of any new videos that I upload and uh, until next time guys have a good day